Alright, is it recording? I hope so. Fucking A, man. <laughs> Alright, so I was uh, just listening to the radio and they're talking about uh, trade school. Like, they're, uh, they're gonna do a piece in, a, in an hour or so about why uh, vocational high schools could be beneficial. And they, and they said, uh, you know, in the past they were viewed as places for troubled kids, which is totally true. Like, I didn't want to go to trade school. You know, like what the fuck, you know, it was just a place for like people who didn't want to like reach for the stars, you know, and now I'm thinking like, man, I just, I was gonna, I, I tried college two different, two separate times. First time was music education to be a music teacher and the second time was to be a dietitian. And just both things were just, I feel like. It was just getting really good at something that was really dumb in a way. Like, it, just because it's so specialized, like so highly specialized, you get all this education, you're book smart and all this shit, but you don't really serve society's like necessities, man. I mean, yeah, dietetics and, and music are both human needs, but they're things that, uh, just put the fucking food in your mouth, you know? Or, uh, well, I don't know, I think music's a little more important, honestly, than the dietetics and just, uh, like, we have learned that fruits and vegetables are good for you, and we know that. And the, the more fruits and vegetables you eat, the better off you are, man. Um, uh, we need nutrition science, we need music. It's all really important, but I just, I, I wanna like, just give kids a different perspective. So if you're thinking about what you wanna do with your life, learn a trade, man, learn a fucking trade. like. Because it's, uh, like, even though you think, oh, you know, I'm not going like, to get a lot of money, I'm going to be doing something I don't really like, but you got to work in life, man. It, it, to, to be a human being, you have to work. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're trying to save the world, if you're friggin', if you're an actor in Hollywood, it, or if you want to, like, build sustainable houses, or if you want to be, uh, like, growing food. Don't, you know, if you're gonna be like a wilderness survivalist, different story, but nobody even does that. There's not a single fucking human, human on this planet who just goes out into the woods and like, just lives off the land. I mean, there, there's hunter-gatherer cultures out there, but those people work as well. They all work. P human beings work. So you just gotta understand that when you're a kid. Like, you gotta grow up and you gotta be part of society. I mean, you don't have to be dumb like everybody and like do stupid shit, but uh, you know, like most people do. But you gotta like get up every day and like do your job or you know, just like serve people every day. It's about giving to people. It's not It's not 100% just about giving back to the planet because people come first, man, and we, you know, we just, we cost the planet a little bit to, to be alive and, and just realize where you are right now, like, you're, you're, uh, you're doing, uh, where you are, you're, like, if you're feeling rebellious, like I was, and, um, just, like, uh, want to be more sustainable and stuff, think about where you are now, like, you're probably not doing it very well, so if you're not vegan, like, if you're a kid, you should, and you're not vegan, like, and you're into sustainability, fi learn about it, man. It, it's a much smarter choice in this society that we live in. And I know, like, look at me, I'm driving a fucking car and stuff like that, but it's just, I, I do the best I can, you know? So, go vegan, for sure. It's way, just, it's way, way better for the environment. And learn a trade. Do, like, something necessary. Like, my little brother, uh, he's a Marine right now. So, he's out, like, he's fucking, like, killing people. But, uh... Oh, when he gets back, and he's he's actually gonna, <laughs> um, he's gonna be like um, a pipe fitter. So he's gonna make pipes for drinking water, and that's actually really important. And it doesn't, uh, like, for sanitation and stuff. Like having having pipes, uh, like having plumbing, it, even in like a more primitive sense. Like, it, it really serves people. Or, you know, you can make bicycles like that. And just think, like, technology is really handy. Like, just giving giving up all technology altogether 
I was, I had that kind of perspective for a while and I just couldn't find a way that it could serve me as a person. And I know like our needs don't matter, you know, you care more about the planet, that kind of thing. But uh, you gotta put yourself first, you know, put yourself first and, and your needs as well as the needs of human beings to like function and not, to not to be perfect. Like we're not fucking perfect, man. Uh, we just gotta be better, gotta make improvements. Um, so yeah, like I think, uh, uh, yeah, go to school, it doesn't matter what you do, but I th I, I'm just thinking now, yeah, like learning a trade is so important. Cause even if it's like, a, if you learn to do something like pipe fitting or you learn like construction, carpentry, stuff like that, that's not done in a sustainable way, but you learn these things, you'll be better at doing them in a more sustainable way. And you can, you'll be better at like innovating and doing things differently. And there's also, there's some really great schools out there too. So if money's not an object, don't hold back. If, you're, if your parents are like, ah, like my parents were, I wish I had uh, done it earlier, you know, or just figured out what I wanted to do. But I still, I'm just, be, uh, I'm st always changing, and just like I work at a store right now, and I gotta, I gotta hide the logo. I hope you didn't see uh, where I'm working. Um, I work at a store that just sells like all different kinds of stuff, and I just learn like about all different stuff, and it's good to chain change up stuff and just uh, always be willing to change, you know. Um, what was I gonna do? So, um, yeah, to be smarter than your parents. Uh, you, you, you prop, if you're, you know, a young kid now, you're probably smarter than your parents already in a way, but your parents have more like life experience and they've like, Ha, you know, overcome obstacles and stuff, and they've had, you know, they life is a struggle, man. Like, uh, the like the world is just naturally a shitty place. Like, if you're an, a wild animal, or if you're a human being, rich, poor, it doesn't matter. Like, the world is just naturally like life sucks, all right? So, get used to it and fucking make it better and like do good things for people, and that's the only way you're gonna get fulfillment in life. Um, by doing good things for people. Absolute most important thing. So me, like, I work, I just do a regular job, and I live as an example of something better, man. Like, the, the vegan thing is legit. It's legit, and it's like, it's the future of humanity. It's the direction that we're going. Like, we're gonna learn to get our priorities straight and start doing things right and and uh, just focus more on like what's really important in life like human needs man basic like high uh, sanitation um, nutrition and what's the other one education yeah education so really basic stuff so proper sanitation means you're composting your shit it doesn't mean you're sending it into some cesspool where they put chemicals in it that's not proper sanitation proper sanitation is like learning how to compost properly and stuff proper nutrition is fruit and you know roots green vegetables you know uh, whatever other plants that are out there that you want to eat doesn't matter it's just so many different types of think foods you can eat like but um, yeah, education, like you, you, you don't just finish school and then start your life. Your life is already started, man. Your life is already started. Like you, you, uh, it, you, what you, if you're 16, let's say you're 16 years old, your choices when you were a third grader are definitely making a big impact on, on what you're doing right now. And, and the, you know, they just, by the time you figure out like, the fact that you need to like be fucking healthy you need to be sober like i mean just get high if you want to get high go out exercise and eat some fruit yeah, i swear to god it works like you can get fucked off your tits man if you go for like a 100 mile bike ride with some music in your headphones and eating like a, a date date smoothie or something like or just eat like canned i was eating canned mangoes and it, and just Daterade when I was out on my last bike ride and I was having like juices and just, I uh, my, I mean my last 100 mile bike ride and 
just had like blasting music and I was fucked off my tits, man. I was high as, and I'm not kidding. Like I've done all kinds of drugs and uh, hallucinogens get you high, but really like uh, the speed, stuff like that, um, you know, marijuana, fucking alcohol, that shit does not work. Those, those, those are drugs that don't work. So if you're gonna do drugs, do something that works. You know, eat some magic mushrooms. Uh, I, I, I think LSD is like kind of unhealthy, honestly. But it, at least it does something to you that's like kind of interesting. Uh, like speedy stuff and like uh, weed and booze, the, the big thumbs down, man. Uh, they just don't, like, do anything. Like, you know, you feel like, oh, you know, when you smoke weed, you get high as fuck, but, uh, it, it really, I don't know, it doesn't do much. Uh, so just do, do the right ones, you know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna fuck around with drugs. I, I say you shouldn't do them at all, but if you're gonna do them, do, do the right ones. Um, what else? Uh, I don't know, I'm just trying to, like, to, uh, this video is for like young kids who are like trying to figure out direction in, in their life and stuff, you know, so uh, Yeah, you're, you you probably are smarter than your parents uh, Bottom line serve the greater good of humanity and uh, Like humans come first then animals in my opinion then the planet and Just get into like simple living like, you don't have to save the world, just get into simple living, learn how to get your basic needs cared for, because that's fucking hard, man. Just having your food, like, taking care of, uh, get, get, getting to work every day and having a, a place to sleep. Like, it's illegal, man, to, uh, sleep in a car. It, it, I'm telling you, if it was legal, I'd be doing it, cause, or just, I'd be camping out. But there are cops coming up, bothering you, I've done it. I did it for uh, over a year. It, it's... Uh, it's, I, it's a great way of life, but be prepared to be getting fucking hassled by cops and like everywhere you go, people, they're gonna be, oh, you can't be here, you can't, you can't just like hang out anywhere. You, so it's good to have a house, but all that shit is like, that was one thing my dad taught me that I just, I was like, I didn't understand what he was saying. Like, he was saying living is expensive, and I'm like, it doesn't have to be, but people make it, so they force it, and it's like, what are you gonna do? Just keep speaking the truth, and like, so get learn to get your basic needs satisfied. And learning a trade is a really good way to do that because you make decent money if you're a plumber or if you're, uh, you know, if you're a construction worker or stuff like that. And these things actually matter, and they do serve people, and, and you know, they do help people to get things done. And so once you have those basic needs satisfied, then you actually have the time to. Uh, really do what's important and so you know I was going to school like I was treating college like um, like uh, like it was gonna teach me how to save the world and that's not what people are about man you gotta understand like there you might find like a lot of uh, smart people out there but the vast majority of people are really not interested in making the world a better place honestly <laughs> like they might say so, but 99% of people are not fucking invested in, in doing the right thing. So going to college, most fucking college programs, like 99.9999 fucking percent of college programs are not gonna be really held, like passionate about like figuring out our priorities and doing the, doing the right thing. like really ma making a sustainable society, you know? So if you wanna be doing that, you just get a book, you know? And, and go to school for something that'll actually make you money, and something that'll be easy for you to do, and something that's like, as least toxic as possible. And, it, it, you know, I think that's totally v legit, and you'll save so much money. If you if you love, like, go reading books, and you love fucking just, piling on the homework and that's that's all you want to do with the rest of your life because college want you you college is an initiator it, it doesn't teach you how to do something and then you go do something different college starts you doing whatever it is that they tell you to do so don't think that you're gonna go to college learn all this stuff and then go do something completely different if you know exactly what it is that you want to do that's all that it takes man that's 
all that it takes. If you have that exact image of what you want to be doing, if what your life wants to look like, college is not for you. Um, unless it's something that you want people to be physically, like directly hiring you for, if you want to get a job. But I was like, I wanted to be a music teacher. I wanted to, I went to music education to learn music. Uh, uh, to learn how to educate people musically, but what they had planned for me wasn't what I wanted. I wanted to be doing this, 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 and I could have taken that degree and done something different with it, but I would not be making that money, and I would have spent a shit ton of money to doing something that just wasn't aligned. Like, they're like, here, you're gonna, they, they were like, boom, like, my first year, I was like, what the fuck, man? Like, I thought, I wanted to learn how to teach music. I didn't want to learn how to, like, be one of these, like, pawns at, you know, at a high school or a middle school. And that's all that it is. It was crazy. I was totally like, just, wow. You know, I, I wasn't expecting that. I, I was expecting to learn like real things about teaching people music, but no, no, not at all. It's not about, that was not my experience. Thing, uh, teaching people, the music education program I went to was not about teaching people music. It was about accomplishing goals that are set by the government which are good goals, they're definitely worthwhile, but it's not exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, when I went into dietetics, I, I didn't actually start the dietetics program, but I had to write a, a few papers on my subject, and I was just, fortunately, I didn't waste a ton of money that time. I was just took, took a couple online classes, and got my foot in the water, and I was like, Ugh. You know, I'm back in school, they're making me write these stupid papers on stuff that doesn't matter, it's totally irrelevant, and I didn't want to be doing that. I was like, okay, this is, it's still worth it because I want to be a dietitian. Now. But then I'm thinking about it, and becoming a dietitian, first of all, just put the fucking food in your mouth. All I want to do is change people to being vegan, eat a whole food, plant-based diet so they can be like better, more ethical people and be healthier, you know? And it's so simple. but. I, th I think the the American Dietetics Association is o is run by people in McDonald's and it's run by just corporations, man. Kraft, KFC, like all that bullshit. Nabisco, like they got people on revolving door kind of thing, you know. And um, I think becoming a dietitian, all they're they're not gonna set you up to be like an awesome nutrition educator necessarily, because nutrition is just not always about that like nutrition yeah it's a science it's a medical thing but that's not all that it's about it's about a lot more than that and it's it's a time thing you know I would love to go to dietetic school and learn all kinds of nutrition science it's so relevant to humans um, but it's really like what questions do we have you know um the reason I didn't want to go uh, well, you know, I'm just going to disparage it. I'm just going to hate on it, even though if, if it's something that you want to do, like, you should definitely do it. But um, I think all they were going to say, uh, they're, they're going to, like, push me into this. They're like, here's what you have to tell people. Here's what you have to do. This is what your life is going to look like. You're going to be in a hospital, and you're going to be... You're gonna be going here, and you're gonna be going here, and then you have to go here, and then you have to... And I, I want to educate people using the science that's out there um, so being a dietitian was not for me. I would recommend if you're really into nutrition science to become a nutrition scientist as opposed to a dietitian that works in hospitals. If you want to help people hands-on, just go out and help people, man. The, the people that need help, they will listen to you if you have the right information. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. This is kind of a long video, but um, I hope it helps some people. Uh, I'm going to go get some sweet potatoes. Peace!